and it would be kaplum, kaplum, like it is now. There's a ship over there. Flame, you want, what? Guess what? What? It gives me the heebie-jeebies. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> We are now on our way to Sun RV Resort, Chincoteague Bay in Chincoteague, Virginia. At the time of this video, the tolls for passenger vehicle, RVs, and light trucks is $14 during off-peak and $18 during high-peak seasons. Good morning. Yes. Thank you. As we continue on this journey, we are so appreciative of our channel members who support us on every adventure that we take. Happening in this right lane. See some boats out there. Kind of hazy this morning. It is. At least it's not raining and windy. Yeah, praise God. There's a ship over there. We used to ride this thing with cars coming that way. I remember that. Because okay. it was because it was one bridge like this. And we would, we would travel going to New Jersey and such. And uh, it was one bridge with traffic going both ways. So uh, my dad would drive this thing at one or two o'clock in the morning going to New Jersey. And it would be kaplum, kaplum, like it is now, kaplum, kaplum. Yep, years and years ago. And guys, I don't like bridges, so this is kind of uh, gives me some anxiety. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. But the only way we can get from point A to point B is on this bridge, so we got to do it. The bridge tunnel includes not one, but two tunnels, each about a mile long. Crossing the bridge tunnel takes about a half an hour, but can be nerve wracking in an RV if you are unprepared for it. Whether you're driving north or south, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel showcases the mighty surge of the Atlantic Ocean, the beauty of the Chesapeake Bay, and the soaring grace of an engineering marvel. Both a tourist attraction and a travel convenience, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel 
connects Virginia's eastern shore with the Virginia mainland at Virginia Beach near Norfolk. The maximum vehicle height permitted to cross this facility is 13.6, and all propane tanks must be turned off at the outside valve before crossing. Vehicles are subject to inspection at the toll plaza. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel was completed in April 1964, and at this time, a second series of tunnels is, are under construction. So what'd you think of the tunnel and the bridge and all? <laughs> <laughs> she does not like bridges. And that one is about right. 17 miles long. That was 16 and a half miles too long. <laughs> yes. So we stopped here at the rest area now, just a, uh, on the other side. So oh. I can take a deep breath. And, and get rid of get whatever. My, get my nerves <laughs> back together. <laughs> one lane there's no lines so you just kind of I just get in the middle of the road and good thing you know nothing's coming and nobody's behind me because it said 10 miles take 30 minutes to go 10 miles now I, I, I see why but uh, we will see we will see it, it's, it's actually pretty you know the landscape you know, the woods and, and but um, not expecting this totally. Now, one thing I would suggest is pack your bags, your lunches, all your food, get your gas before you come back here because there is nothing back here. Nothing. Not one thing except woods on yeah. the way in. It's not like you're gonna pick up something on the way in. Now, I don't know what it looks like once we get back to the campground, but it's just forest.
we I think this is where we pick up our stuff. Yeah. Check in box. Let's see. Registration paperwork in mailbox. So we got our check-in information here. They left it in that little mailbox out there. And let's see what we got. We got, please sign and leave top copy. Oh, okay, so we got to check in here. Please sign and leave top copy, site 13. Right, so please pick site and text to. Oh, okay. Because it says site 13, but there is no site 13. So we get to pick a site. And I guess that's our copy. Okay. And then, so we need to sign. Here the dump station over to the left and my man Tom who helped us out he was beside he's beside us he said you just drive over here in the grass <laughs> and uh, that's where everything is that's where the bathhouse trash, trash See over there to the left that's where we are all right guys we are now headed out to Island House restaurant and marina in what's the name of that place again watch your pray watch your pray Virginia what you We'll have to ask somebody to say it, and so they can say it right. Yeah, what you call it? What you call it, Virginia? That's <laughs> yeah. We're gonna say what you call it for right now. But that's what we're going to. The setup was pretty easy. Uh, plenty of turnaround space around that place. Um, you have to share water. That was one thing. So they had like a Ford outlet spigot thing. Uh, it's a little bit of a distance away from your rig depending on where you park. We have 30 amp service and there is no uh, sewer hookup which is fine because we're only there for two nights. So we'll dump water out and all when we get ready to leave. So we're going to take y'all with us. We're going to go to the what you call it mid city to the what you call it restaurant and we'll show you a little bit of what we get to eat. Uh, that property is beautiful. The property is beautiful. The campground is not. The campground, even if the campground was just kept up better, uh, 
the, the amenities, you right. know. Yeah. Uh, the, the sites the, are real tight. Yeah. You can tell that most of the people that are there have been there for a while. Um, yeah. And it's not, it's just not up, the upkeep on it is just not that great. Right. But and as far as the property itself, what, driving into it, it's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful landscape. Um, but I don't know. It's, you know, it's Thousand Trails. Dude, you know, I just I don't know. Yeah, I'm still kind of on the fence with Thousand Trails. I, I, I'm not. I'm, they, they've got to show me a little bit more for me to really uh, go in wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. And I've not seen um, I've not seen anything to change my mind just yet. Well, oh, I almost dropped y'all. Thousand Trails is definitely budget camping and I guess that's what you get on a budget yeah so okay All right, guys, Island House Restaurant was a bust. They were only open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. No, no they were only, closed. they were closed on Tuesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays? Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, we couldn't get anything there, so we are back on the road trying to find something to eat before the sun goes down because it's deep dark back here. Um, but we may go back tomorrow. We'll just have to kind of play that by ear and see what happens. But we'll let you know where we end up. All right, we are at the Great Machipungo Clam Shed. Never been here, we don't know what to expect, but. We, we have arrived. So I got shrimp, lamb. So how is it? Looks good. Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> we got fish, fries. Let's eat. So, what is the verdict? It was pretty good. I had a, I had flounder and hush puppy and french fries. Uh, the, I couldn't eat all my flounder. It was very, very good. Cooked really well. So, uh, it was pretty good. What do you think? What was yours? I had scallop, shrimp, three shrimp and uh, clam strips and they were more like cram cram <laughs> clam french fries uh, <laughs> not I, you know not bad good taste but kind of disappointed with the, the the clam strips especially when uh, clam is in your name right clam right. shack is, yeah. is the name of the place it's the name of the place Macha, Pongo clam shack uh, I would eat here again. You may not get that, but I would eat here again. The they food, have a huge, the food, 
The food was fresh. And they had a big menu. Oh my goodness. It yeah. was almost overwhelming when you walk in because you walk in and boom, there's your menu and you got to place your order at the counter and then they bring it out to you. Right. But it, they had so much stuff. Yeah. So I so, just went with what I know. <laughs> so we're going to head back to the campground. morning guys it's day two here and uh, in Quimby and it's a bright shiny day we just uh, getting well not just getting up but we're getting ready uh, you know we're gonna get some stuff done today Dwayne, you want, but, guess what? What, 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 what what hold on I just called our next destination and they said come on in I got my shoes <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go. You're, Let's wait. clean up this place. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, uh, I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna put y'all down, and we're gonna go get ready because she got. We got in a day early then. We got a day early. We gotta go, gotta go right now. I got my shoes. I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm okay. Ready. All right. I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay. So guys, as you just heard, we're leaving today. So. Uh, before we go, though, I want to give you a, kind of a look at the campground here. Now, this is not your normal, everyday destination spot. This is, like I said, it's a thousand trails. And the one thing about a thousand trails is it's a budget. I think that's the, the best way I can explain it. Overnight stay, maybe destination no unless this is what you like so this is what our site looks like a lot of permanent uh, campers here it could be a very nice campground as you can see we got shared water which is not a big deal the water pressure was fine this site has 38 and no sewer. Sewer is located across the way over there. So we'll have to go over there to dump. But we were able to get in a day early at our destination, which I am excited about because we're near one of the Chincoteague parks. So if we can get in, get set up, maybe run out to uh, one of the state parks maybe we'll get to see some of the horses uh i don't know lynn's excited so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything done and we're gonna hit the road 